ladies and gentlemen. Uh, sorry about the loud noises in the background. I am at work. I just wanted to show you that this is the Razer phone. Um, however you... Well, anyway. uh, let's see here. It doesn't really say in the, in the about phone. It just says phone. But this is the Razer phone. Um, oh, you can see it down there in the middle. But, that being said, check this out. NVIDIA Games, NVIDIA GeForce Now. I am loading NVIDIA GeForce Now on my Razer phone to play Just Cause 3. So, let's show you guys that real quick. I am using a VPN and I am on Wi-Fi. Um, this is not necessary. You can use on uh, just your regular phone cell service. Um, I'm using a VPN because uh, some of the things are blocked on this Wi-Fi I'm on. But I'd like to load it up real quick and show you. Um, I don't have a gamepad with me. I actually was working on this uh, a little bit ago and never ended up bringing my gamepad with me. But you can use a gamepad. You can also use a mouse and keyboard to play this directly on your phone. Um, let me know if you guys want to see a tutorial about how to get this set up and how to get a gamepad and or mouse and keyboard set up to where you can play this on your phone. I'm not sure what other devices this will work with, but I believe it would work with any of them. Um, unfortunately, this load time is a little bit longer than normal. Yeah, see, there you go. It's supposed to be played with a gamepad. And then we'll give it a second to lo log in and load up. Like I said, it is a little bit slower than normal. But uh, once you get in-game, as long as you have a good internet connection, you'll be fine. It just takes a minute to actually load into the game. Again, sorry about the loud noises. And as I said before, I don't have a gamepad with me, so I won't be able to uh, show you walking around very much. I can bring up a keyboard, so I can use WASD keyboard on screen. And this will work with any of your GeForce Now uh, capable games. So if you're able to use GeForce Now, you will be able to do this. And we are loading up. Here it is, guys. The, the way to use GeForce Now on your Razer phone. Because I know everybody with a Razer phone and GeForce Now has been wondering. I personally have been. Um, I mean, I know that you're not really using any of the power of the Razer phone. But it's a gaming phone. You know, it's got a nice big screen. So I'm thinking about getting a regular tablet and doing this to it. Uh, that way I'll be able to play it on a little bit bigger screen while still having the portability of a uh, tablet instead of a laptop. That way if you root a la uh, tablet, you can actually connect a PS3 controller Bluetooth to it. Um, I did that with an old Samsung Galaxy Tab I had a while back. See this is the unfortunate part is these load times. For just so long, and you gotta fill this dead space. Uh, you are trying to remember, okay, double tap gives you this little menu right here, and double tap again, keyboard, okay, and then I'm gonna hit E, as you see it's right on continue there. We'll wait for the menu to pop up, hit enter, and boom, you are in game on your Razer phone, or I'm on my Razer phone. I'll, uh, I will definitely be doing a, um, uh, tutorial if people are interested. 
I am unfortunately not going to end up doing one if you guys are not interested because who wants to do that, you know? Uh, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification icon. I mean, especially if you guys want to see it. There's a little bit of jitter there from that lag. Um, that's from my internet connection being a 2.4 instead of 5 gigahertz. But otherwise, it looks freaking beautiful and you can do it with any game you want. Let me know if you guys want to know how to do this. And uh, I will make a video of that if you would like. And I will see you guys in the next one.